there's an important distinction to be made between treating things as particles and treating things as continuum fields. Um, let's start with the particles. If you have a particle and it has a certain velocity, for example, um, this is defined on the particle. Now, if, for example, we wanted to look at how the particle accelerates and the forces on it, we might want to use F equals ma. Um, the acceleration, the force, and the mass as well are all defined on the particle. And when we do that, we probably start by saying that the acceleration vector is equal to dv by dt, where v is the velocity vector. And note what we have here are ordinary derivatives. Now this differs from the continuum field model. In this particular model we have some field and at certain points in space, let me just draw a few little regions of space here, what we've done is we've said in certain regions of space we have some velocity that's defined in that region of space at that position x comma y. Now this is completely different of course from being defined on the particle. Uh, if we want to apply f equals ma, well we still can, but we have to apply it to regions of space instead of on particles. If we do that, and we'll do that um, in this course, uh, what we find is that we start getting partial derivatives. Things like partial d by partial dt, partial d by dx. So this curly d here, these are partial derivatives. So the way I like to think about it is that the language of particular particle theories, the language of these particle theories is the ordinary derivative, whereas the language of continuum fields are partial derivatives. Now, as we know, ordinary differential equations, ODEs, are easier to solve than partial differential equations. But of course, if we try to look at a fluid uh, in terms of particles, uh, we'd soon find that we've got sort of 10 to the power of 23 or more ordinary differential equations to solve, one for each particle, and that quickly becomes entirely impractical. Whereas if we treat a flu fluid using partial differential equations, uh, we just have to solve one set of partial differential equations for the entire fluid, which is much, much easier.